still on the African man and this whole marriage to the You, as an African man, you marry a woman, okay? First of all, I want to blame the African society, okay? I want to blame the African society for having this whole perception of what a marriage is. First of all, growing up, our parents are always focused on the girls, teaching them to be a good wife, a good wife, a good wife, but they never focused on the men teaching them how to be a good husband. They never did this. So they were all focused on the men. And then when you see a man who's like that is something and not married, the society keeps saying, oh, Paul, go and get married so that you have someone to take care of you. Oh, Peter, go and get married. You need a woman in your life. His mom comes and sees his home untidy. Oh, my son, it's time for you to get married so that someone can take care of you. Now, imputing in their minds that a wife simply means a maid. Because, of course, you need someone to take care of you. You're not talking about someone to love, someone to share with, someone to build with, someone to manage the home with. The society often thinks about marriage when it comes to men as getting someone to take care of you. But when it comes to women, it's not the same way. They are often teaching us how to make sure you're keeping your home okay, respect your husband, do this, do that. And this has, this has led to the situation that we are in today. Now, let me educate you, or let me share with you guys. Do you know that so many women are now refusing to get married? Do you guys, are, are you guys aware of this? It used to be so important that marriage was regarded as sacred. Sacred. But now, women see it. Some women, especially those who don't care about what the society thinks, they are now seeing it as a kind of enslavement, especially in the African setting. I know this is not the same for the foreign people or the Westerners because men do stuff every day. For Christ's sake, I know friends who are married to white men, I see them do laundries, they cook, their wives enjoy, like, they, you know what the African men do, where they sit in the parlor playing games or watching uh, football, while the wife is walking away in the kitchen, doing the laundry, uh, cleaning the home, doing all those things herself, the, actually, the foreigners or the, the westerners, the white men, they do those things with their wives without complaints they do those things and they see it as ours if they if they see it as ours if an african man helps you at home he expects you to thank him i'm an african woman i know thank god at least i have a husband who helps but not as he should because african mentality and when they help they expect you to still thank them on it so I still I appreciate the kind of person I have because at least he knows how to help. What about those who don't even care to help their wives? What about those who don't even... Do you know that women are suffering so much? And then you are asking me why they behave the way they behave when they go abroad and they see other women living a life while they are suffering and you think they won't think about it i will still get to the end point of this because we're going to talk about why and this is very important we're going to be talking about why there are lots of breaks up or breakups sorry why there are lots of breakups of african marriages in the diaspora instead of you guys talking about women this nigerian women this uh not taking care of the home calling police or doing this check what is the root cause what is the root cause is there a way to tackle it is there a way to change it so this is what we need to talk about and subsequently we'll be talking about it for now have a great day i need to go back to it. bye guys